The Jets are, as you know, my favorite team growing up, and I do talk about it here quite a bit, not just because of the name of the show, but what's happening there to me is a national story because if they wind up being first overall, there is going to be, and, and man, they're earning it. And, and I don't know if Flacco is going to start finding people in a, in a more efficient way than Darnold had been in the last four games. And that Greg 3G Williams is going to have his guys, you know, let's just say cut the personal foul penalties in half. Let's just even go that. And that it's going to work out well against Kyler Murray and, and Arizona. You see Arizona right in front of you this weekend. And they took a guy from the Pac-12, as we know. And they said he's our future. And then they got the first overall pick and spiked the whole plan. Do you think the Jets would do such a thing? And I know we're way ahead of the story, but the Jets look terrible. Michael, what's the talk in New York about on this front? Everybody that we've had on my radio show said they have to take Trevor Lawrence, including Mike Tannenbaum. And Tannenbaum's a fan of Darnold. So I, I, I also believe if this guy is as good as they say, and everybody that we've spoken to uses the same comparison, the best quarterback to come out of college since Andrew Luck. So if he is, in fact, that, Sam has not shown enough over the two-plus years to tell you that he is definitely the guy. Now, he has not been, quote-unquote, raised the right way. He has not been surrounded with the right people. But if Lawrence is all that, I think you've got to do that, and I'm sure you'll find some takers for Sam Darnold. You're not going to get back um, what, what was essentially the third pick in the draft for him, but you can cut your losses a bit. Now, if you want to go around building the other way, then I guess you could get a Herschel Walker sort of deal for the number one pick, and the Jets certainly have a lot of holes. But Sam has to prove a lot more um, by that point. And, you know, if they have the worst pick in the draft, then he didn't prove much. But my question to you, Rich Eisen, big Jet fan, Yes, sir. what happens if, if Joe Flacco has a great game and they actually win? This week. Now, when you say this, are we talking planet Earth or what other place are we talking about? We're firmly on planet Earth. So he has a really good game and they win. And then Sam's shoulder is better and ready to go. Adam Gase is on a a week-by-week job security uh, tour. Does he keep playing Joe Flacco? Is Chandler Jones playing this weekend, Michael? And Makai Becton's not even practicing? You know, I mean, please. uh, And, and, uh, you know, there's – the way that I saw it, the team that I've been seeing play, the one that, that showed up in Indianapolis, the one that on a short week watched Brett Rippon do his thing, and then when he couldn't do his thing, the Jets bailed him out with six personal foul penalties. I cannot imagine that Joe Flacco is able to find a Jamison Crowder when everybody else knows that's who he's going to be looking for. Uh, it's it's it, it strains the possibility here, but let, so, let's just we could so play you, the game. You're we could you don't pl- want to play the home version of the hypothetical. No, game, I will play the sad. home version. I will do that. I will do that. I I will play this with you. Whatever the Jets need to do to get that first overall selection, they have to do. And it kills me to say that because the times that I have met Sam Darnold to call him a dream come true and a face of a franchise is an understatement. He's great. He is beyond great. He so deserves better than than a team that changes coaches up. And then uh, has, uh, you know, uh, that coach swallow the free agency signing of Le'Veon Bell only to have the general manager who makes that decision conduct a draft, then get fired, then have the coach handle matters until the general manager is hired. And then that general manager waits another full calendar year to jettison the best defensive player that they have prior to a COVID season in which their second-best defensive player in Mosley opts out, and you trade them away for draft choices, leaving the evaluation of the quarterback, which is the most important thing, completely wide open to the injury bug, which has bitten them. So putting it all together, I think this is a total mess that deserves whatever needs to happen to turn this into Rich Kotite on steroids. And if that means the Jets lose all 16, it'll be tough. But they've got to do it whatever they have to do. How does that sound? It sounds great. It sounds like the football version of Phil Jackson selecting Frank Nilakina and then getting fired a couple of days later. <laughs>